All right, guys, we're rolling in topic 1.5, which is dealing with the characteristics of Spanish colonies in the New World. Basically, the best way to break this down is if you look at the learning objective, you have to be able to explain how the growth of the Spanish Empire shaped the development of social and economic structures. So those are the two things we're looking at. It's kind of in reverse order as we go through ABC, but the economic characteristics of the Spanish Empire and then also the social characteristics of it. So that's a good way to kind of start game planning this to figure out how you're going to discuss it. So if we're going to economic systems under A, <clears throat> the defining economic characteristic uh, of the Spanish Empire is going to be the encomienda system, which is a labor system dealing with natives that revolves around agriculture. Going to probably need to know the responsibilities of both sides as this system is set up. So what the natives were required to do under this system and as importantly, what the um, responsibilities of the Spanish as it was intended. I think we all know it didn't work out like this in the long run, but initially what the Spanish were required to do for the natives. So as you look at it, discuss it in that way. <clears throat> then we move on to Another economic characteristic as time goes on, uh, Europeans and Spanish, um, even though they're not the biggest one in this, they are going to begin to rely on uh, Atlantic slavery, on African slavery. Um, would not, once again, be a bad idea to kind of know the, the way this relationship worked, uh, what Europeans did as they went into Africa to initiate the slave trade, and then the part that West African kings played in this as well. So kind of be able to discuss both sides of it. And then for C, this is moving on to the social characteristics of the Spanish Empire, and it's all going to revolve around the Costa system, which is basically the way the, so the society was structured, the social hierarchy uh, of the Spanish Empire. So you need to know at least the top three uh, levels of this Costa system. So we've got Peninsulares, Creos, and Mestizos. Uh, Peninsulares are going to be Europeans in the New World who were born on the Iberian Peninsula in Spain and then came over to the New World. You need to know what their roles were, what advantages they had, things like that. Under them, you have Creos. These are going to be Europeans as well, but they're Europeans who are going to be born in the New World. You need to be able to explain why they're Rose responsibilities, what they're able to do in the new world is a little bit different than what Peninsulares are able to do. And then under that, you have Mestizos, who are uh, mixed Europeans and natives. They would explain why they're a little bit lower. What's their ceiling? What can they accomplish uh, within this social hierarchy? So as you look at it, divide it up into economic and social, and then be able to kind of describe the things uh, that fall under that. 